Hello there and welcome to the narrow boat that James built. I hope you're all very well. You join me on the boat today. Um, actually, I've got a uh, tripod, so um, I'll show you that in a minute. So hopefully that will improve the, uh, the filming uh, and um, the angles of certain things. Anyway, so the plan today is flooring. Um, I've got some battens here. The angle iron that I've got to drill into or screw into, I've got a whole load of screws, as you know, um, is quite thick. Um, it's about five mil thick. So I'm gonna give it a few test pieces and work out the best way to do that. Um, and I've got Paul coming back a bit later on, who's gonna do some welds. Um, we need some welding being done for the floor joists. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, also, I think I need some welding being done in order to put the water tank in. Um, I've just been looking at that, so I think I need to uh, have a look at that because once the floor's down, I'm gonna want that water tank out of the way. So um, I've got to get that welding being done ASAP. So I'll uh, show you that in a minute. And here's the little bracket I've had to make for my phone for the tripod. So uh, thanks, Dad, for lending me the tripod. I've just made up a simple bracket there, which means I can put the phone in and adjust the angle and you know, all that kind of normal tripod -y type of stuff. So uh, hopefully that will improve the viewing experience from here on in. So now I've excavated the gaps, I've cut my piece of timber, I can go about fixing the piece there into the gaps made into the wall. So first off, brick fill, just in the top obviously where it's going to connect, some into that gap. that gap and then a bit in there if needed. Now just check the measurements. I want to do this in make sure that these are two foot apart at the bottom and at the top because that first one here is square. Well, it's as square as I think it's gonna be. So if I can make everything else square off that, and obviously the reason I'm doing it in two foot intervals is because I'm having eight foot boards, so just stands to reason. Um, so it's got a good bond throughout. And now I'm going in with a four mil drill bit to pilot the hole. Broken a drill bit. This is the problem I was having the other day. Right, I'll come back to that. Okay, so here I've got my piece of 87, um, which is what I'm calling them. So This is a fresh piece of wall. So first off, I need to measure where I'm going. And for that, I need to find my tape measure. There's one. So it's going to be two foot from there. That takes us up to here. So, mark it. 
there. And then another five centimeters along, because that's the width. And then again along here. So two foot to the left edge. And then five centimeters along. So make your cut marks. <coughs> and then with the uh, scary knife, Cut through. Didn't really need it on that one, but on this one here, it's really useful. So just dig this stuff out, which is quite easy. Yeah. I hope that viewing angle is alright. It's a damn sight easier for me to set it up than what I had to do before. So I hope it's uh, beneficial for you guys. So off up your piece of timber and then work out where you've got to cut it at the top as well. So it needs to be up there, out there. Obviously, if all these uh, battens were in before the insulation, that would have been ideal. But with the drill bits I had, I was just having too many problems doing that. So it's given me a job that I wouldn't have really had to have done. But it might be, you know, the night's work. It's not going to be the end of the world. At least still some more taking off. It's just this stuff here, which is quite time consuming. Okay, I guess. Everything's flush up against that at all. And there's loads of movement still there. That's hitting it. Okay, right, that's as best we're going to get. So that will help, help provide a seal on the steel, as it were. And let's just check. I've done that first. Bang on. Bang on. Right. Last words. Right, it's just burning or when it's going through, it's not going through very straight. So you can pitch it in slowly. Well, straight. 
try to wide the hole. There we go. Sometimes it just shows if you're not at a straight angle on the cut, it catches itself and burrs a bit. Good. Right, I can't actually see the uh, such a tight fit there, so I'm gonna have to cut a bit away so I can see what bit the steel I'm going into. You've got to make it. I can't afford to get it wrong. Widen it out a bit with the countersink. Is either that or buy literally more screws. And for the sake of two mil more, I thought that's probably a fine way of doing it. Excellent. So it's the end of the afternoon and I've managed to get on five battens um, the problem i was having is with the drill bit so i'm now using a three and a half drill bit to pilot a hole for a 4.2 mil um, self-tapping screw um, which seems to be working much much better the problem is is that the angle of the metal this is going into here is all at a wonk and it's varying wonkiness throughout so the angle of the drill bit going through it's it's not easy to get it at 90 degrees so it's burring and it's catching and there's not too much load on the drill so i'm just doing it i'm just drilling in a different fashion now which is bearing results so i've got to continue battening as much as i can basically it's this and the flooring is really the important stuff to be getting on with for the next few days I can't do much flooring until the welding is being done, which I'll go into some detail on that tomorrow. Um, so really, it's a case of cracking on with the battening below the gunnels here. So uh, that'll be my plan, see how far I get on with that. I've also got some conduit here, which I need to work out how to best get it up through here. And then through into the roof, into the ceiling, and for it to run down that channel there. Um, it's about access for the spade drill and things like that. It's just giving me a bit of jib at the moment. So I'm just going to work that out. So I bought a test piece there. So I'll, if I take a break from the uh, walls, I'll do that. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe if this is interesting to you or if you want to see how the project continues. Uh, remember, I've got until Christmas to get this thing in a uh, good condition um, and livable. Um, so uh, take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.